Okay. So, first off, congratulations. This show is just hitting it out of the park, and people are going nuts online. I don't know how much of that you, 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 you look at. I mean, I don't. I do. People are really nice to me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a 50-year-old actor. Uh, they, there's not so much. People don't go out of their way to do that kind of trolling thing to me. It's usually all positive. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've been reading some things, and it's been so nice to hear what people are saying. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a kind of a fan, too, because we've been, I haven't seen these. We've been working on these for years now. Mm-hmm. We get together every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock here when it comes out at Seth's house. So I saw this last episode episode four uh last night at his he has a big outdoor theater and it's so awesome so and i just can't believe how how these episodes are coming out man they're just these they're just so big they're they're just huge i turned uh, to jay lee i was sitting next to jay lee who plays john lamar at, at watching it last night and i just was like i can't believe what we're watching like i can't believe that this isn't one a television show because that there's no there's no line anymore mm, there's not so there isn't especially on orville uh so i'm 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 as so yes, I thank the fans for being so nice, but I'm I'm a fan too of what what Seth's accomplished, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, Gordon, of course, is one of the fan favorites. Hmm. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you, you have to be aware of that. Uh, he goes around hugging the donkey ever since <laughs> episode one. Hugging the donkey has been a phrase that I have seen uttered in my messages every day for five years. Yeah, I saw somebody sent me a T-shirt. There's a T-shirt somewhere saying it. And by the way, I remember, I remember when we filmed that so long ago. Mm-hmm. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Really. No, of course not. So I think that was the joke then. Like, okay, I'm going to hug the donkey. And no one asks. No one ever says, Gordon, what is hugging the donkey? Yeah, because it, it could have called it opening the umbrella. Anything. Absolutely yeah. anything. And uh, But now it's become kind of a thing when I do interviews or people meet me on the street. They're like, hey, man, are you hug- hugging the donkey? I'm like, OK, yeah. it, could be, it could be a sexual metaphor. I have no idea. <laughs> it's all up to the person. All up to the person. Exactly. <laughs> I like to think that it's clean yep. and, you know, well, it's, it's there for fan. It's a family phrase. If you want it to be sure. as Gordon, yeah, donkeys are, are they look like they're fun to hug. You want, you want to hug them. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when when you guys started this season, of course, you know, you, you're doing what you're supposed to do. And then you had to pause for a while. What was going on in your mind when when the, the, the how long you had to pause kept getting longer and longer and longer? And you knew how much more work you had to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm always this person that feels bad for the people that really suffered from that. You know, um, I thought for a while we were going to get shut down because we were such a big show, very expensive show. Mm-hmm. And here we are renting three sound stages filled with these beautiful sets that, that you know, that, that they built. I thought we were going to be like, OK, we got to take it, uh, take one for the team. And because a lot of shows kind of lost their way during COVID because of money. Um but, you know, we had Seth was nice enough to keep practically, I think, everybody that didn't get any work uh, on staff. Uh, and, and so I got it, it. It was it was tough because I remember the phone call I got. I was sitting at my apartment across the street from the studio and Seth just went, hey, man, we're going to shut down for two weeks. But that's all it's going to be. They're yeah. just going to be two weeks. So I said, cool. I jumped in the car, went to Texas and thinking I was going to be back in two weeks. And three months later, we're still there, you know, so that was tough. It was tough to find our footing, our feet again. Uh, but thank God for Hulu and thank God for Seth and his, and Fuzzy Door to believing in the show and, and, and wanting to keep going, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's obvious I mean, we talk about this all the time uh, with my audience, but it's obvious that the production, the actors, everything are fans of not only science fiction, they're fans of this show. And uh, every episode this season has been an homage to a different type of sci-fi, it feels like. Sure. Yeah. And that's mine. That's Seth's mind. I mean, that is I I will I will give the cast this and I'm not I'm not uh, uh, giving myself a compliment, but it's very. You can't buy as much money as you have. You can't buy a chemistry like this cast just immediately had. You just can't. I don't know how Seth did it. Maybe some of it was by accident. Maybe he knew something that we didn't. But we just immediately got the genre. We got we act. We got who we were in the show. You know, because uh, I knew who my character was. Um, and everybody played Seth's. This is Seth's vision. And we just played along and uh, we got lucky because, again, you can't you really can't buy that. So I'm uh, and we are, you know, each each episode is something like I was watching last week's 
and I'm thinking that's whole show about fear. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, we all had this moment of what we feared. And I realized having known Seth for over 20 years, those are his fears that he just wrote into the show. You know, he's, mm -hmm. he doesn't really love flying. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, and, and, you know, maybe being out on the water on a boat, uh, there, there's that, you know, and I, I really love that a lot of these episodes are about him, mm -hmm. his childhood loves, his childhood fears, his things. He's, and when you bring that kind of personal thing into a project, you, it just, it, it goes to a different level. And I think it has. Yeah. Well, with last week's episode, Mortality Paradox, when it came to all the different types of deaths that were presented, I couldn't pick one that I would prefer over another. They were all absolutely terrifying. They really are, right? Yeah, especially with Gordon getting his butt whooped. Oh, I know. Again. Old school kind of bully thing. I know. They always pick on me. That's okay, though. That's my job. But that yeah. was fun. That was fun. Well, I was watching the behind the scenes of you hanging, mm. uh, <laughs> hanging from the soundstage, pretending that a monster's got his hand wrapped around you. And it looked like you're trying to keep keep, uh, <laughs> keep, uh, keep in the moment, and right. but you wanted to crack up. Well, that's the whole thing. I was watching that footage, too, years later. And I remember on the day, you know, I'm hanging there like an idiot just and Seth's, you know, yelling uh, what to do and reactions and stuff. And at the time I was in it, I'm like, OK, I'm being grabbed by Randall, the monster, and he's spitting on me and whatever. But then I watch it years later. I'm like, I look like a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's this show. That's what you do. You put in these situations where you got to pretend because maybe that special effect right isn't right there in front of you. Blue screen or what, what have you. And um, that imagination thing is, again something so much fun to do because you know eventually a year down the road you're gonna see this final product and this big monster yeah <laughs> they huge. Do it, but, oh, it was just really it was like 20 feet really tall great. in oh, that yeah. episode did you guys know about uh, uh jessica's character tala being uh, a fake tala when nope. you guys were filming it uh well <laughs> or was it revealed yeah, later no no it was it, we, we had we had read the script but but again Sometimes us actors just read when their character is on yeah. the page. Yeah, and I, I probably I probably did something like that, but I had forgotten. So when I watched it last week, I'm like, oh, that's right. That's not really Tala. She's waiting. She's coming back from vacation. So I had yeah. forgotten. I had completely <laughs> forgotten. So that was good. Well, um, we ran into each other a couple times at the Electric Sheep premiere at, at mm -hmm. uh, the California Science Center. And I have to say, that was just such an amazing time. To, to hang out with all you guys and, and yeah. to finally see some footage from this season. Yeah. Uh, well, the full episode. How did, was it for you or um, for you to actually finally have people see what you've been working on this whole time? Uh, it was <laughs> because people started. The one thing I did start to read is people just forgot. They either got mad that we moved to Hulu or forgot as you as people did because it was in so many years. Um and you can only talk people into it over the years so much like, well, no, no, wait, guys, wait, you're going to see what we've been doing. You know, you kind of, they kind of lose interest. So I'm really happy that not only did they wait, but what I told them, what I promised them, what we were doing is really beyond because people are now going, man, you were saying this was big, but I had no idea it was going to, it's just going to get bigger too. I mean, yeah. I'm serious, man. Seth just does not, he doesn't, you know, that's just episode four. Wait, wait till you wait, wait till we keep going. It's just oh, it's I assume better, that because better. I mean, oh, yeah. for the first three episodes, people are like, Damn, this is big, and I'm like, You haven't seen nothing yet. Nothing. It's about to get a much bigger uh, <laughs> we won't yeah. go into the episode, but wow, I mean, the response I, I cannot wait for a couple of days to pass as everybody in the world gets access to 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 the latest episode just to see what the response is i mean the orville right now we've learned that in it's well they say top five i say top four because it's right this week it's number four in australia okay. uh, but it's been you know in the top two the, the previous two episodes but the response from the latest episode hasn't come through with the numbers yet okay um, uh i mean i know you guys are are hoping for some big numbers because you know the fans want more of this it's obvious um well, we, if it does get renewed fingers crossed how are you how excited are you to, to to come back to space more than i've ever been in any show i've ever done and i did a bunch of shows for many many years and i always wanted them to get uh, picked up because i had a good time and i and i you know like you know who doesn't like making money but this show specifically going to work every day um I not only had the job I felt of playing Gordon, 
But my job was also to be as excited as Seth so that he knew what his what he was doing was worth it. Like I really felt every single day. Oh, man, this is what a day. Look at what they built today. Look at what I get to do today. And that, you know, Seth really needs that, too. I didn't do it on purpose. To I mean, I did it because I wanted to. But I think uh, I, I, to, to go back to work on this show where every single day is something new and uh, something unlike television has ever done. I would love to do another. I'd do five more seasons. I mean, I really would. But I might be, you know, I'll be in my 60s. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just hey, they can young you up. They got the technology. Yep, they're going to have to with the gray that's coming in, my buddy. <laughs> hey, I know exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, it looks like I'm getting the light. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I had a wonderful time talking to you. Uh, you I, thank you so much for having me on. I know you're a huge fan and you and you, you uh, we appreciate you so much, man. Well, maybe we'll talk again for uh, Talking Ted. Yep, I would love that. Yep. <laughs> well, let's, maybe, let's do it. I'll look into I it. I would love it. Let's do it. I love talking to you, man. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, can't wait to talk again. We'll, we'll we'll get deep into into some Orville stuff next time. Sure, well, as as the as the, as the episodes go, we can talk about more. So that yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope you have an Orville tastic day. Thanks, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beam us up, Michael. <laughs> yeah we'll do thank you justin appreciate the time thanks bud. take thank care you. man scott thank uh you. all the other information should be in your schedule for the next couple it looks like uh passcodes are in there and stuff so you have justin. my number just text me if you need anything call me I'm, you, uh, live, you live in town right justin? no i'm from okay. i moved i'm in tulsa now but i moved okay. here from la i, I, I played the whole acting game <laughs> if you're ever if you're ever here on a wednesday seth and i were talking last night about having a uh, we do every Wednesday night at his house. We watch the, and, and you know, he's got a beautiful theater. And uh, if you're ever in town, we were talking last night about bringing, you know, some of the, some of the the people that are really helping out the show by doing what you do to the house and watching it with us. Oh, so, I love it. I'll see you guys yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Seriously, get, get in touch uh, with me on uh, any of the, any of the, any of the things I read everything, whether it's Instagram or whatever, and we'll get you over there. All right. We'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. We'll do Beautiful. it. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks again, buddy.